Greetings and welcome back to Lost Ark. I'm Catherine Skye and we are here again. I'm just making my way to the next section here. Um, again, we are not going to be taking any of the side quests because they just take a long time to read. Okay. Stuff is happening. Yes. String, strings are contaminated. They're, if they're left alone, they'll further spread the plague. We must purify them. This is our Armin again. Please burn the excess carcasses of any animals you find. Also sprinkle the water of the sacred spring into the contaminated springs. That will cure them of all the bad stuff. So let's get the water first. Also, I have been playing other characters. I've been playing my bard, my paladin, and striker since the last time I recorded this. So I have no idea what the heck kind of spells I have on this character. So just, just, uh, yeah, give me some leeway on that. Spring is now purified, I think. So now we got to find the carcasses. They're, luckily, they're all marked with like these little sort of stars on them. Looks like we have an issue here. Hello? I'm going to see. Okay, that's that one, of course. I had two things like that. This is the double da double tap. This is the wave, I believe. Yeah, okay. So I'm remembering more than I thought. I do like this character quite a lot. And I'm gonna see if I can get stuff going. Now I need to add one song to my hot bar. Which is, let's see. Um, this is the sheet music. Oh yeah, Song of Hearth and Home. On my other character, I have actually unlocked the Stronghold. which And it's kind of cool that you can actually um, access that quite easily. And, um, you know, you can access it on any character at any level. I, I created a brand new striker to play with a friend of mine, Avalon, if you know him. And, um, yeah, I could immediately go there. It's pretty cool. So you don't even have to be level... I think it's around level 30 that you get your stronghold. Uh, spoilers, pardon. Sorry. Um, but anyway. So yeah, it's um, it's kind of cool. That you can take all of them there. Which is great because there are like some timed quests that you kind of have to, you know, be aware of and stuff. Okay, so what are we doing? Infected creatures? We can kill stuff. Sure. Hey, you guys look infected to me. Right, Q. My Q key is also on the blink. So we're going to try to... Yeah. Wait, what is that? E? No, that's R. Okay, sorry. That is e. Nice. Okay, we killed things in a very blazing style of glory there. There we go. More glory is happening. Let's go up here. Always remember to click the triports. I always keep forgetting to do that. And has been noted many times by me and others. The triport is filled with triangles, except for four pillars around it. I'm sure that's going to annoy a lot of OCD people. Oh well. Also, there is a Mokoko seed somewhere up here, by the way. One of my friends found it in in the thing when the mist was cleared in one of these cutscenes. It is right here. You can see it on the map there. It's up like right here. Oh yeah, this little ball here. Um, you can check Mokoko seeds by, there's so many like, uh, maps and videos on this. I don't think I'm going to bother doing something like that because everybody else has already done it. So anyway, all right, defeat infected creatures near the border watch. Okay. Let's see if we can find any. Hello. Oh, you look infected. All right, go. Q. Hello, Q. I need to get that fixed. All right, let's go here. Nothing? Really? Wow. Okay, identified. Looks like this is a very small area for infected creatures, so I'm going to go to the next one. Hopefully there are more in this area here. Oh, there's a couple. There we go. And good, and dead, and dead. More dead. More dead is happening. There we go. Luckily, we don't have to kill like hundreds and hundreds of mobs for these quests. It's quite easy. Just zap it on and keep going. All right. Next, we go back over here to Armin. Hey, Armin, how you doing? Howdy. Bolts have been attacking the closed border post, and it's highly bolts have been attacking, huh? And it's highly possible they have been exposed to the plague. It's I'd like to go to the closed border post and help the guards there. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Oh, whoops. I forgot I was on a horse. Sorry. Let's 
go over there. Closed borders. I find this very interesting that they have a why are why are people there if the border post is closed? Unless they're just like sort of guarding it against people who are trying to cross illegally or something. I don't know. It is weird. It is weird. This is so weird. I just played this area with Avalon, so I'm kind of like, okay, I know exactly what's going on here. We must support the command post, but we can't get to it because of these creatures. Please call them on your way to check the situation at the command post. Okay. We will do our best. All right. Also, I would love if they added the ability to just like press an attack key and get off your horse because right now this dismounting thing, I think I've mentioned this before. It is very not convenient. All right. How about an R over here? Would you like an R? Let's do R. Nice. Okay. That was a good R. Uh, let's do an A and an S on you and a D. Q. Good. Want to get those in a line. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, whoops. I keep forgetting where I'm pointing with that one. S. There we go. That's six. Any. He oh, here's some more. Hooray. I didn't do the second one soon enough, alas. I need to figure out if there's a better one than this. I don't like ones that have a cast time and then then boom. I like the ones where they uh, damage as they cast. I find those much more convenient spells to do. Uh, I use one on my bard, which is extremely useful. I really love that one uh, because I feel like if the spell gets cancelled or the animation, like, you get attacked and it gets cancelled, then you don't waste time. As in, like, if you're already casting it and it damages as you cast, then you're you're spending time killing the monsters and all of that energy is actually resulting in some damage. Alright, another scenario. And again, this is where the MMO name breaks down in multiplayer. Um, I was doing these things with my, oh, this is, I love this one. This is great. This one is great. Those barrels are very useful, by the way. This is a bad Howdy. Time to have guests. Oh, sorry. Blow up We're the explosive attack. barrels that we've set up and it'll do a number on the enemy. I'm going to save those until we get overwhelmed because it's kind of important to do so. Okay. It's good to kind of, oh, oh, hurry. Yeah, I need to find a better thing, Imajingi. Oh, one of the barrels is gone. I didn't intend to do that. Whoops. Okay, just want to try to kill as many as we possibly can here. Oh, that was cool. Fun. Alright. Kind of go around here. Let's do an E over there. I don't know if that'll hit the barrel or not. It might. There we go. Oh, those guys were not in range. That's unfortunate. I didn't position them very well. But I like to keep some of the barrels for the big bossies if we don't have yet. But be very careful that you don't accidentally get the barrels deadified here. There's one of the, the boss guys. All right, boss guy here. Come over here. Blow them both up. Oh, he didn't come in. No. Oh, that was so bad. Here, dude. Boss. Hello. Hello. Can y'all come this way, please? He's got three health bars. Come on, dude. Come on. Yo, 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 yo. There we go. There we go. Get out of those ranges because they will hurt us as well. Boom. And dead. And repair the damaged areas. If you have a less damagey class like less AoE, then you should definitely use the barrels a lot more for the enemies. Um, I, I, I really didn't use them that, that well except for the last bossy guy where I exploded two on him. Got rid of his health bars in a jiff. Alright, where are we going now? Okay, we go back here. We can actually alt-click on this. Oh, on the map we click, but if you have the tab map open, you can alt-click on that to select and use. Oh, Emma brought her rubber band. All right, hold on one second. I'm going to toss this for her because she hasn't brought one in a while. Come on, Emma. Come on. Whoosh. 
We do a whoosh game where I say whoosh and she goes and chases the rubber band. It's very nice. Uh, okay, hello. She's my fetch cat. She will actually fetch toys to, for me to throw for her. Okay. Um, Drat, the demons were controlling the bolt guys. Thank you for the help. If it weren't for you and Father Armin, the command post would have been lost. I don't know how to deal with this plague and demons at the same time. The soldiers are doing their best to secure the border, but may have fallen ill to the plague. All right, sad times. Armin, hello. I see. I see. To think that the demons are leading the bolt and spreading a plague. What is their plan? There must be the plague source somewhere. We should hurry up and find a way to cure this plague. I hope the guards at the border can hold out a little longer. Can you head out and check on them while I tend to the sick here? Uh, all right, sure, we can try. They fought the demons until the end. Hello, my cat. The proud border guards here. they were. While we're listening to this guy, you can wish again. Here, wish. Oh my god, I did something bad. I think I threw it in a place she can't get it. Even now, the other surviving guards are working to find the plague source by searching all over Ankumo. Scouts are even still at Aqualock's Head, the most dangerous area in the entire mountain range. Despite our heavy losses, we will continue to do our duty and guard this place with our lives. Oh, by the way, Priestess Garoa left this record for Father Armin. Please deliver it to him. Okay, I will do it. It's not like you... Look, he cannot walk those steps. I think he has like, you know, like the mob does, concrete overshoes, that kind of thing. Concrete galoshes. Can't walk ten steps, dude. The pilgrims who looked for the Ark settled down in the monastery near the Rathramas border. First, go to the monastery and gather more information. The situation here is urgent, but we cannot neglect them while they are suffering. I will care for the soldiers who were injured by demons, and you go, fi and go find you after that. Demon blood flows through me, but I am a priest of the light, and this is my duty. Hurry, go now. I'll catch up to you. Okay, we're going to go and... Oh. Okay, cutscene again. I think we've seen that one already. It's again healing the plaguey bits and all that stuff. All right, let's go up here. Okay, we're here. We obtained the skill reverse gravity. Now, is there anything we want to upgrade? We have 10 points. We need 12 to get to this level. I don't know why it says 20 points, because I always get it at 12. It's really strange that. Uh, let's see. Inferno. Can we change? Actually, let me get off my horse, because I, I always like to look at them here. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to take um, these off. I needed to fix that, because these are the same skill. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Reverse gravity creates an earth rift on the spot. Knocks foes into the air, dealing 506 damage. It inflicts much damage when striking down. We can try that. Let's see what that's like. I like to try these things. I love that this game rewards you. Whoa. Okay, so that's around us. It's a cast spell. This one, again, is like... Doesn't do any damage, I think, until she casts it. Those are not ideal. Right? Yeah, this is not a, a channeling spell. Oh my goodness. Hello, my cat. Did you bring it again? Oh, good. And you cut it in half. Good cat. Here, Emma, let's go. Whoosh. Love that cat. Oh my god, I love her so much. Okay, uh, Seraphic Hail. Do we have this? Yeah, we do. We have that one on there. Uh, I guess we don't really have much choice. We have what we have. There isn't anything that we don't have at this point, I think. Oh my god, she's back again. Hello, Emma. Come on, my Emma. Let's go. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. Okay, good. All right, let's go with this, because that's what we've got. Uh, all right. We'll go up here. And talk to this person. I managed to escape safely. But I'm afraid Venice didn't. Venice. All right, sorry about that. My caravan is just north of here. Please, see if it's okay. I beg of you go and check. You can see where I've fought, found Makoko seeds. If we do a dungeon, we might look at the Makoko map. Um, those are easily found online. Just do Makoko seeds 
and then the map name, whether it's a dungeon or a map or whatever. Uh, and those, actually, uh, if you wanted to know about that, they are in the collectibles thingy with the Makoko seed symbol on them. And it's very handy. Let's see, if we look at Makoko seeds, you can see where we found them. So I found all of them in Pride Home because I looked them up. And these are the ones that I found in various other places. And um, you can do the total collection stats to see how many you have. And then there are also rewards of for however many that you have as well, uh, which is kind of cool. I want to get this Blooming Urus skin for the ship. That looks amazing, like a ship that's covered with like viney things. Oh my God, she brought it again. Okay, Emma, let's go. Oh my goodness, excited. Go, push. She just, she's my fetch cat, I tell you. I'm not moving from the computer. She's just bringing these things. Also, I wanted to show you. So if you are, you should be watching Twitch and getting Twitch drops, by the way. And those, when you get them, I have it pinned in my Discord under the Lost Ark channel, how to get these Twitch drops. Um, you want to look at the... Um, I think it's the drops inventory, not the inventory, but the other one, the available ones. And you can see how to get them, how many hours you got to watch, which channels you have to watch, that kind of thing. When you get them, they're in your here. This is the store product inventory, right? So I got this drop. This is the pet Sophia collection chest, selection chest. Okay, and this is a selection box, meaning you can take one item from the box. So I'm going to claim it because I think I want to have this pet on this character. I also wanted to show you how to do this. So we might have to retire Mizzle the rabbit. Though Mizzle, I don't know why Mizzle is here because Mizzle has been going on all of my ship journeys. So let's get this on. Let's see. Pet selection chest. Now, you can look at these pet. This pet is actually in the store. So let's look at that before we choose one. I'll show you how to see it. It's under pet, mount pet. And then here's the Sophia selection. This is like a little foxy thing. It's very cute. So you can get a free one just by watching Twitch. By the way, the easiest way to watch Twitch is not to watch it. You can, because uh, I'm not really that interested in the dev streams. I, I couldn't care less. Um, I, I just, you know, play the game the way I want to play it. And um, anyway, all you need to do is put the stream on. You can mute it if you want, put it on overnight, whatever. You don't actually have to participate. It just counts your hours that you're on that channel. So these are the different colors it comes in. And so we can choose one of those. So I'm going to choose the orange because it's very fox-like. And I like foxes, um, like natural fox. I actually have foxes that live near me in my home, my real life home. Okay, we're going to select this one. So select. And we get to choose just the one color. And then we can add it to the inventory or our pet inventory. So let's go ahead and, and take that one out. Uh, all right, Franco. Sure, summon you. So no more, no more rabbit. We now have Franco. And we can change their name if we want to. Let's see, how do we, let's see, we have to go back to the pet menu to change the name and you can do it but here. I think I'm going to leave the pet name here right now because I have no idea what to call this one. I did rename my rabbit to Mizzle instead of Pet Bunny or whatever it was called. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to take Franco. Also, your pet has its own inventory. So not only, so if you click here, this is a pet inventory and you can buy more space as well. Um, this is storage for like random stuff that we have. Adventurous seals, we'll get to that later. And then wood and other things that we're going to gather. Um, our inventory is our regular inventory, but you can control right click and choose this talkie button, pet functions. And this is your storage in town. It's like a link to your storage. It's crazy good. Uh, you don't even have to go to town to move stuff around from, you know, this is the roster storage as in your account storage, which every character has access to. But then you also have personal storage here, uh, which is great. So yeah, all the things and all the stuff. I'm going to put these goggles in here because those are a skin and I haven't, uh, yeah, I need to use those. Cat, what are you doing? Hello? Oh my God, you brought it again. Okay, come on. Let's fetch. Come on. Whoosh. You can see how much this cat loves to play. All right. Anyway, we're in. We're with Merchant uh, Venice. I thought he died. 
Huh? Please put out the fire. You seem panicked. Okay. All right, we're going to try, dude. It's fine. I thought he died. I got I'm so confused by this. All right. Let's go. We're going to carry this. And of course, we're press you press Q and then right click. I'm going to just do two if I can. There we go. Eliminate grave diggers. That's our next task. Grave diggers, they're not like the other grave diggers. These grave diggers are these waspy things. So, yeah, don't confuse them. It's a bit weird. I agree completely. All right, three is enough. Let's go back. Okay, cat brought the thing again. Come on. Whoosh. Yeah, you heard that cute squealing. It's very cute. My cat is just... She is excited about fetching these things. So I indulge her. She brings it all the way up to the table on the cat bed. She just drops it in and, and just like starts pawing at it. It's like, hello, notice me, notice me. Just follow this road. I, oh. I wouldn't go there if I were you though. Okay. Almost everyone there has caught the plague. It was awful. Even the monks are sick, which leaves no one to take care of the others. I'll take care of them in my cute little roughly outfit. No worries. I'm not worried about people vomiting on me because we have Teflon clothes. It is not an issue. Do we have a map yet? No. I can't remember if we've done a secret dungeon or not. We'll see. You usually get them from boxes from quests um, or from sometimes from monster drops or, you know, drops, loot drops from killing stuff. I hope you're enjoying this series, by the way. It's, I know it's a different kind of a game for my channel, but I do enjoy playing these games very much. Uh, this place is in grave danger. And also, a huge thank you to all of my spreading. patrons and supporters. Y'all are fantastic. Are and anyone who tries to help just gets sick. I'm not gonna get sick. The Don't you worry. I'm a hero. Is growing dire. And now the dead have risen to attack any the plague has spared. Yeah, that's inconvenient. Please help us. Also, there's a world boss in this area. Uh, so if we see one, um, oh, Rude Channel 21. All right, let's go and see um, how how that's going. Okay, plague spread across the land soon after, turning it into a bastion of death. Those things must be related to the plague. Hunt down the orbs and destroy them. All right, so let me get, uh, let's go and see if Rudric is up. He's right in here in this area. It looks like he's channel 21. So rude channel 21, they're saying. So let's go and see that channel. There we go, 21. This is how you switch uh, instances. So we're gonna be in 21 and see if Rudrick is still up. Oh, channel 16 now. All right, let's see if he's in 21 because that one's probably more deadified. Um, and we're gonna go there. And as long as you get off one hit, you, um, you'll get loot. Let's see. Is he here? No, I think he must have died already. Okay, so let's go to channel 16. Where they probably haven't killed him yet since they're still advertising it. Hello? Please? Oh, there we go. I must not have clicked it. Or I clicked it too fast or something. Okay, so we see this border. That means there's a boss here. We, this is a difficult boss for sorcery people, I think. Okay, here he, wow, he's way out here, jeez. All right, let's just do a little bit of damage here. Uh, he's really much better to hit in melee range because of this fear circle he does. That blue circle is like a fear thing. Okay, he's got 21 bars of health. That's quite a lot, jeez. That's quite a lot, 22 still, jeez. But with this boss, uh, you can get a lot of back hits. There's actually achievements for getting hitting from the back. So he's really good. If someone else is kiting him uh, or being, you know, basically aggroing him, then it makes it a lot easier on you to, uh, yeah, to do stuff. I'm dying, though. That is not ideal. Q, come on, girl. My Q is not working for whatever reason. Yeah. Can I click this Q? No, apparently not. It's not a clickable button. That's not good. Okay, there it goes. Finally, I got my Q up. I think my keyboard is malfunctioning. It's not the game, it's my keyboard. I, I'm still 
Still waiting for a replacement. It's a stupid COVID thing where like, oh no, nothing can happen because things, supply chains or whatever thing. Let's get another health potion. All right, he's got 17 health par bars. Also, um, the these um, world bosses are part of the adventure tome. Uh, they also they also give you cards which are needed later for stuff. Uh, those are really powerful buffs that you can get from cards. Well, depending on the cards, of course. Some of them are more rare than others and more powerful than others. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's stuff happening. Hello? Help! Help! I can't get out. I'm stuck. I'm literally... Oh, jeez. Alright. I'm gonna do a base resurrect. It's not that far from here anyway. Um, and even if the boss died, then I would still get loot because I've already gotten, you know, a hit on him. I've helped contribute to his demise. That was unfortunate. I was frozen for a very long time there. I think I could have hit the potion, but again, those are heals over time, so it takes a little bit for them to kind of activate. Yeah. Let's see. All right, looking good, looking very good here. Oh. Okay, that was a bad positioning on my part. It's so weird because I'm like watching cooldowns more than anything. But you gotta have to, you really need to pay attention to where stuff is going. Oh shoot, that's not good. I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. No! Help. Okay, let's get a health potion. Also, it's very good to kill these adds. They contribute very much to, oh, fear. I'm stuck again. I'm like dying here. It's not good. I'm gonna stay out of that fear circle. Okay, let's get closer to him now. Again, melee range on this boss is very, very good. There's a lot of effects from other people as well, so it kind of makes it hard to see sometimes. Let's go press F. Oh, I keep doing. Okay, so if you pr you can do those, either right click or uh, double click. Oh, okay, that was not ideal. Six health bars left, not too bad. Does definitely give you a sense of progress, these like multi health bars instead of like one giant health one, which goes down by like tiny, tiny increments. So I kind of like the multi health bars now, except when like if the health bars get completely chunked instantly, I don't think it has a very good effect, but yeah. Why is this F not working? There it goes, finally. W-ing, hello. One of the things that's been a problem that people have noticed, oh my god, wow, I don't know what happened there, um, is that you cannot cancel your spell animations. Uh, well, sometimes you can't, you can sometimes dash out of them, um, or sometimes interrupt with another spell cast but in general it is a problem because like sometimes you just need to move but you cannot cancel the animation so it tends to be a tiny bit frustrating i hope they change that because it's really annoying oh we got stuff hooray nice okay so we're gonna open our box so we got a box and other stuff we oh portal stone that's cool all right we're gonna just you know, use that. We're gonna get, oh, we got a hair accessory. Cool. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's open the box. It basically chucks stuff on the floor and then you pick it up. We got panties. Yay. We got a chess piece. An oh, another one too. Not as good. All right. A Rudrick card. We got two essence cards. That's nice. And we got a map. Hooray. We got, a I think we got our first map. So this is a map. Uh, oopsies. Excuse me. Um, and basically, it's like a little puzzle that you can do. You are, uh, you give, you're given this map and you can compare it to the overview map as well. Wait, let's just use the tab map instead. So if we look, we have that square island in the middle. So this is probably somewhere right over there. It's actually right near where our quest is. So let's go that way. This is kind of cool. That's good. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, excuse me. Yep, this way, this way. Eh. 
All right, and here we can go and G over. If you press V, you should be able to mount your horse without moving there. All right, let's go for... Oh, I forgot where the map is. Hold on. Let's see. Map is over there. All right, so that's fine. We'll try to go there first and see if we can get this. It's quite easy, usually. Um, you just go... Oh, there we are. Right there. And press G or click on it, and then you go in. You just enter. So these are secret dungeons, and... They're so good because you can get really nice loot. Now, don't save them for later because the loot is your level right now on this map level of items, right? Item level. Uh, so later, it's not going to be any use to you, basically. Okay, this is that. Interesting. All right. Excuse me. Nice. Oh my god, that was powerful. Did you see how powerful that was? Holy fuzzy cats. All right, let's see what we got. We got a ring. Oh, on these, um, if you just click it, it... Oh, never mind. <laughs> we have... Wait, can I put that here? Hello? So if you click something, it'll replace the top slot in these multi ones. You got two earrings and two rings. However, if you alt click it to compare it to the next one, you'll get... The second one, let me... No, it's not working if I do this, but we need to put the ring in the slot. Uh, or... Huh? Can we not... Cannot equip more than one of this item? It might be the same ring. Leaping Observer, Leaping Observer. Okay, so it's a unique ring. So obviously we can't do that. We probably can do this Cruel Reaper, but it's not our correct level. This is level 17. So we'll have to wait till we can equip that and then look at this necklace as well. We don't have... Do we have a necklace on? No, no necklace yet. So anyway, but I'll, I'll talk about the rings later if we get to a situation. So we can either... I think I usually like to do Song of Escape here. Or you can go to the outside of the dungeon, but it's like I have to walk so far. Nope, Song of Escape is faster. So we're just going to do this. But anyway, those maps are so useful for getting nice things like, you know, purple level items instead of other junk. So I like them very, very much. They're also very random. It's a tiny little puzzle. I absolutely love them, though. I think they're very cool. Okay, whoops, let's V out of this. Excuse me. Can I unmount my horse, please? Thank you. Thank you. Jeez. Okay. No! Oh, okay. Smush, smush. Good. All right. Let's go. Now, uh, we just need to go here. So we're just going to click that. Yay. Oh, Emma. Hello. Did you bring your rubber band? No. Okay. We did not bring the rubber band. We just came to sit. Good girl. Yeah, she's just sitting. I have some socks in there as well. They're clean socks. Thank but uh, yeah, she can cuddle Mother with the socks. Here, helping us treat the patients. He's tending to the monks over there. Please go see him. Okay. Always good to get your mount up because you can talk to people I've while mounted. I've never seen a disease like this before. I don't know what to do. Um, may I suggest? These people display symptoms similar to those of a snake bite. Gee. But their disease is progressing so quickly that I'm worried there might not be enough time to attempt more than one treatment. I've heard stories of a mystical stone with healing properties kept hidden here. Maybe it can alleviate their sickness. Please, see what Brother Alfred knows about the stone. It's said to be a piece of jade. I want to check one thing. Uh, in the Adventurer's Guide tome, the Adventurer's Tome... Um, that stone we got, the portal stone. So that goes into our collectible thing for the portal or the, for this, uh, leveling of this tome for the area. So now we just need two more of those. We need a lot more of these other things like 10 teeth, 10 book of the priest, 25 spores, 25 fragments. And I don't know if you really need to go hunting because like, as you level new characters, they will get all of these things. Now these guys... Um, our guild is calling them horny guys, but they're basically like elites that are on the map and they have like a little horn 
horned helmet symbol to denote where they are. I hope we'll get to one of them so I can show you, but yeah, you gotta complete all of those in each continent, each zone for these. Uh, all right. So let's see, what else do we need? These are the, um, vistas that you need to collect. And by the way, these are all like, um, roster bound, account bound, not, uh, you don't have to find them on each different character. All right, so there we go. And you also get rewards, which I have not claimed because I don't know what to do with a lot of these, but okay, so this is a charisma potion. Um, I guess you give that to your character where you need charisma. You should look up end game build guides for those to figure out which characters need what. Um, surprise chest, HP potions. I did get the Phoenix plumes in the card. Let's see, next level stat increase potion emote board that might actually be good for um increasing rapport with people i'm not sure what that's for or, or f which which kara might like this emote or even if this emote is useful for that i don't know but you know it's something to add to your collection then you have gustavin's holy water okay used to increase rapport with npc so it's a gift item and then rathramas lion statue that sounds cool I kind of want that because I like, I kind of am having fun decorating my stronghold a tiny bit. Uh, so that could be fun to put in. One of the continents has a mount that you can get for a certain level of completion. So that's pretty neat. Someone was showing it all. It's like a horse with armor. Someone was showing in the guild the other day. I don't know about them. Brother Dylon may be able Dylon. to help you. He went to support the border post. You'll have to follow him there. He's gone to help the guards. All right, we will go there. Let's see, where is there? Uh, it's up there, okay, fine. What are those monks thinking? Oh, I'm doing are approaching. oh, see, there we go, there's a horny guy. So we're gonna just try to take it down and uh, I always do all of them since I don't know which ones are where. Um, so it's just safer to just like kill all of them that you see along the way. I really should look up where the specific ones are. Let's see, did we get an extra? I don't even know if we got an extra check mark, but at some point you will be able to fill those all out. I don't know if you would have to wait for a respawn or whatever. If you look at the, I probably am going to look them up at some point just to have that completion done. Cause I'm, I kind of like those kind of quests, honestly, those like meta quests where you can find different stuff and kill monsters and look up those Makoko seeds and stuff. And yeah, I enjoy those things. Now we have a dungeon here, Aquilox Tail. Uh, I'm not sure if we get a quest for that dungeon, but we'll see what we need here. All right, let's see what's going on. We also, let's take the tri triport click first. Cause I always forget those. There we go. I don't think I've forgotten in this video yet, but I have forgotten on other characters. That's for darn sure. And it's like, oh, we have to walk all the way back. Think you can exterminate the giant corpse spiders outside the post? Sure. Not a problem. Let's do that. Uh, that is down here. What's nice is if you are, are in a party with people, then you definitely, you share kills and it's quite nice. It's like really, oh, well, wow, that's big. Oh, that's big. Whoa, help. Bonk. All right. Oh my God, that really, uh, cat's doing work as well. Jeez Louise, that's crazy. Okay, we exterminated the thing. All right, we got another Grangor's Tooth. We've got two spores. Great. Okay, that's nice to, to add to our collection. All right, we don't have 17 yet, so we can't look at that other item selection, but it's okay. The stone you mentioned. I think it's the serpentine jade. It has superb detoxifying properties. It's in a cave called Aqualox Tail, not far from here. But... Uh, Right now, it's swarming with demons. It'll be too dangerous to get in there. Okay. We've suffered so they do want losses. us to go there anyway. <laughs> I find that very amusing. Okay, let's go there anyway. Oops, excuse me. I don't know why we didn't get this dungeon when I was playing with uh, 
with Avalon. That's weird. All right, Aqualox Tail. Let's go inside. We're going to do hard mode. I'm just going to go uh, solo because... Um, because... I don't want to, you know, annoy people with looking for these uh, Mococo seeds. All right, I have the map up in another window. So I'm just going to... I'll I'll show you where they are. Let's see. It says there all of the seeds are in the open. They're fairly easy to spot. So we're going to just go, go and find them as we go here. Oops. Okay, well, we should kill stuff, though, first. I know my greed for Makoko seeds is vast, but yeah, killing stuff is more important, I think. I don't know if I found any in here or not. It's kind of strange because, like, sometimes you play with uh, other people and they know where they are and so they're finding them and, like, or maybe you don't even notice one of them there or wherever. It's kind of weird. There is one right here somewhere. Is that dead? I think it's dead. Okay. There's there. Oh, there's one here. Oh, naughty. Okay, there's a. Oh, okay, G. There's a looking. Oh, there's one there too. Oh my god, there's two here. Okay, that's very sneaky. So, again, this is Aqualox Tail. You can find the dungeon name in the upper right if you're ever confused about this. Uh, the next one. Now, remember, like these things, like once you cross one of these divides, you can't go back. They just don't have a go back thing. It's not a thing. You don't go back. We don't have that kind of thing happening in this game. Nope. So you have to kind of, if you miss one of them, you need to go back and get it and just, yeah. Okay, those are there. So these are apparently this way. Oh, look at this. Maybe, maybe, no. Can I go here? Why can I not go through? Because I'm not seeing them. Are they here instead? I'm looking on this map and I'm trying to like, where are they? Uh, the red X is un... Okay, denote places where you have to uncover hidden paths. These are either secret walls or destructible walls that you need to attack. So this red X is uh, on this side, actually. So I'm kind of like wondering like where, huh? Is it here? This looks so... Like, this looks like it should be destructible. I'm trying to, like, yeah, go through. It's not help helping. I'm not sure, actually, how to get this one. This seems difficult. And the... Yeah, it doesn't even say... Ah. The X itself? Let's see. Hello? Can you help me get the seed, dude? Demon guy? Hello? It says the seed, it's, or the X itself is like right here. So maybe we go differently? Here? I'm, I'm so like, where is this? How do I get this? I may have to ask somebody because this is really strange. Or if you know in the comments how to get there, like I'm trying to walk as in, you know, hidden walls kind of thing. This thing should be... This is... No. <laughs> no! Oh, no. I can't believe I can't get these. This is so dumb. Maybe I have to do the defeating of the people first. I don't know. Maybe I have to do the quest first. Okay, let's... Okay, so that part is done. Let's see if we can go down. Please? Game? I'm trying to, like, go in there. I'm trying to look for stuff. Oh, yes! Look! We're here! We're here! All right, there's one there. Wow, it, like, opened up the entire thing. There's no more Archie, Archie Bridge of Thornies anymore. That's so wild. That was a big mob. Okay, so there's supposed to be two here. This one is here, obviously, and where's the next one? Here. I don't like how they're, like, completely hidden. I, I think that that's, like... You know, for people who really love to walk in every single pixel of the screen, that's not a big del delight for me. I don't like that at all. I think that they should be visible. Maybe they're slightly hidden, but they have to be somewhat visible for me to be happy with that. Bonk. All right, so there's one up here as well, sort of where that flower is, I think. 
That's what it looks like on the thingy. Let's just hug this wall here. Or maybe it's underneath these guys. I don't know. Hard to say. Oh no, it's over here. Never mind. It's up here under these. Oh, I can see it already. It's there, I think. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Oh, here it is. There it is. Right there. I thought it was over here. Okay, so again, I'm looking at the map uh, and just, like, finding these things. Um, alright, what do we need to do? Oh, we need to destroy more of these thingy thingies. Forgot these guys. Okay, we're good. Now let's go. It looks like on the map they have- oh god, they have the same quest as we do here. That's interesting, that R skill. Feels like we- it's a delayed cast, but we can cast other things at the same time? Oh, again, Rudrick and Channel 3. I want to check one thing um, here. Okay, very good. All right, so they have a one over here. I think what I want to do. So there's one in this island over there at the top. But let me check one thing. Character collectibles. Here we go. Um, hmm. Makoko Seeds, right here. We are in Aqualock's Tail. So, five of six. Okay, so, yeah, there's an icon. I think they must have been in the middle of this quest. I just wanted to check and make sure that's a one and not a, another uh, seed. But, yeah, we're only missing one, and that is on that islandy part. Eh? I hate that, because, like, you just have to stand still until the cast is finished there really not a great spell. I'm hoping that we get more of like the bard style spells for those kind of things. Let's just kill some of these monsters. Might as well go for a group of them. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. We'll just avoid those. Okay, let's try R. And A, S. You. Oh. Oh no, no! Move! Dang it! Also, by the way, there are some dungeons I've noticed that you cannot. Um, you have to either use a phoenix feather or you are. Um, you have to leave them. You don't get the chance to go back to the beginning and uh, and run back to your position. And I was wondering if anyone knows why or what the designation of those dungeons are because most dungeons allow you the three options of resurrecting yourself. Either fe- Oh boy. Dude, you okay? Well, I don't want you to be okay. I mean, I want to kill you, but... Oh, he's dead now. Okay. So yeah, if you die, there's usually three options, but some of the dungeons don't have three options, which is the, the uh, unfortunate bit. Okay, done. Okay, so there is a Makoko seed on this island. Find it. Oh, that's so nice, that burn or ignite or whatever it's called. Okay, the Makoko seed is here-ish. Hello? Ah, there it is. G. I'm gonna G at this. Pleasing aroma. Okay, cool. But anyway, I like finding the Makoko seeds because they are... Oh my god, that's a big boom. Excuse me. Oh wow, it put me in the good zone. That was exciting. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, ow. Okay, I need to not do that. Okay, 
Ah! Drat. Damn it. Sorry. Dang it, I mean. No! No, 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 run away, run away. Health, health, help. Oh my god, I need more health. Oh, go into a space between. Okay. Nope, I missed the last one. Darn it. That's frustrating. Okay. Okay, FF. Good, good, good. Ugh. Okay. Woo! All right, we got it. Boom. Whew, that was a boom. Jeez Louise, that was crazy. We actually got all of these items and we're not even leveled enough to use them. That's a bit crazy. So, yay! All right, that was great. We are actually doing great. So, anyway, uh, let's check the collectible list again and just see if we got those. I can't, sorry if I, I'm like harping on about this, but it's like one of those things where... I was just checking on it today and it was like, yeah, we might as well just check it, you know? Okay, Aqualock's Tale is done. All right, thank you very much, game. We're good with that. We're going to cast the Song of Escape and escape out of here. And, um, yeah. That's it, I guess. I think this is probably a good place to end this particular episode. Um, I don't know if we need to turn in this quest. Did I find it? Oh, <gasps> no, I don't think I found it. Oh, shoot. I must have missed it. It must be in the in the thing. All right. Well, maybe I'll do that uh, off camera and just find the serpentine jade. It's probably a thing I just didn't click somewhere and I completely forgot about it. One of those like wow quests where, yeah, you got to click a special thing and then, yeah. Okay. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.